Okay. Get back to game. 76%. So offline I went out I went and basically cleaned up New York from all the basic collectibles. I also did one brawl. And I ended up with having I think the final brawl right now. New York. Where do I go New York. Go New Jersey. Galloping Hill Road. Bring him. Bring her. Never mind. You do it. And then you two go to North Carolina. Yes. And do that. I will go beat up that guy. And then finish up that assassin, uh, that local assassin mission, and maybe get another recruit. Okay, brawlers. So, you're the guy I need to beat up? The tournament. Oh, right. He was the guy I first went to. And now we have to fight people. I'm guessing fighting a lot of people. Fight! That was nothing! Stand tough! Fight if you can't take a hit! Shake it off! Chin up! You've got him on the back foot! That was nothing! Okay. Shake it off! Boom! Kick him when he's down. That was nothing! Take it off! Boom! Don't get me. Chin up! Really? Okay, if you wanna die. Stand tough! Stand tough! Boom! Shake it off! Got the weapon. Chin up! Oh! Okay. Oh! Winner! Do I win now or is there anyone else? Like the crowd's turned on ya. Ha! Chin up! Can't win a fight if you can't take a hit! Uh oh, looks like the crowd's turned on ya. Stand tough! Boom! Oh! Shake it off! Looks like the crowd's turned Gina. on him. On his back! Stand tough! Yeah! Pound down! Careful now! Stand tough! Boom! Can't win a fight if you can't take a hit! You can't beat him! Winner! Looks like we got a real contender! 
you know, four against one. More four against one. If you can't take a hit! How are you feeling? A mighty blow! On his back! Well struck! Ha! Not well. You might want to hurry yeah! up. You can't take a hit! How are you feeling? Oh! Doctor, heal thyself. Can't win a fight if you can't take a hit! Boom! That's my man! Who else wants to be knocked on their ass? Really? Okay. Fight! I hope there's an um, end to this. He's down! Shake it off! Blow! Hell. Shake it off! You've got him on the back foot! Come here. Stand tough! Oh! Can't win a fight if you can't take a hit! Oh! Take it off! Well struck! Stand tough! Well struck! Can't win a fight if you can't take a hit! They're changing up. Chin up! They're changing up. Chin up! Oh! He's unstoppable! We have a new champion! Thank you. Did I get money for it? Or something? Okay, let's head to that. Liberation mission. If you the huntress, talk to your district contact. It's a pop, of course. Hey, you. Ah, Connor! Your work procedure. Now it's time to finish the job. I'm told this chap just materialized from the ether and nobody has a stones to you know, challenge him. Until now, but we'll need a gang, a gang of our own. Fight fire with fire. About time we did something about those brutes. I want in. Good on you. That's one for the lads. Come on. Let's gather the rest. Bar's closed. Get out. Okay. 
By the way, switch to my bow. Kill the Templar leader. Come on, move it. Meow yourself. Of course, let's get onto a ship. How about we do this more directly? Templar. What? Like the Knights Templar? Jesus. I thought they were a spook story. They are very real. I'll take your word for it, lad. Well, it's been a real pleasure. If ever you need a hand in uh, whatever it is you're up to, I'm your man. Right. Um, okay. That's all I'll need to fight everyone. New topic. Um, okay. How about I check in at the merchant? Oh, not visited. Select the bodyguard's ability. Call the recruits to protect you. Oh, now that's nice. That's an excellent ability. And new recruit. The Gazette! Duncan Little. Born 1730, was originally from Ireland, the youngest son of a large family, which is confusing seeing as they were the Little family. He entered the priesthood at a young age and was sent to Africa as a missionary in 1756. Little spent several years in Africa, but in 1760 he returned to Ireland, leaving the priesthood entirely. I can tell you why, but it seems the information is locked behind a wall at the Vatican, and I'm not hacking into the records today, as they seem to have changed their password from We Love Pope again. The next information I have about him is as a passenger on a ship to Boston in 1763. From his letters, it seemed that his family more or less drove him away over his split with the Catholic Church, blood being thicker than water and all that. Little settled in Boston's North End, where he gained a reputation as a good mediator, fair and less expensive than going before the local judiciary. When he wasn't spending time at the local pub, he was helping people to solve their problems, generally by talking them down from a fight, which seemed to be all that really happened in Boston in those days. And by those days, I mean anything up to the present day. Little was the first person people called when there was a scuffle, and his usual table at the King's Horse Tavern was known locally as Little's Court. The moniker the British cracked down on in 1770 because we like to ruin everyone's fun. 
Deborah Dobby Carter. That was my last recruit. Courier in New York City at the time of the revolution, daughter of a merchant, Amos Carter, locally known for owning and bankrupting numerous businesses and racking up significant debts. Deborah was turned to the streets at the age of 10, took up work as an errand runner, disguised herself as a boy to do it, hence the name Dobby. Many of the tradesmen she worked for knew who she really was, but pretended to be fooled by the disguise. Possibly at first because they understood that her other options were limited, but later because she was quick, reliable and intelligent. As a teenager, Dobby had to drop her disguise, but she kept her nickname, she continued her career carrying messengers, began negotiating contacts between businesses, became something of a community icon, making sure the poor in the neighborhood had food and clothing, and fighting against merchants who were charging exuberant prices for staple items, a bit like Robin Hood, though when Dobby wore tights, no one giggled. It was a community icon that she, that she met Connor. Incidentally, I'm not being completely figurative when I say she was fighting merchants, she wasn't averse to throwing a punch or two when it was necessary, particularly in her own defense or the defense of others in her neighborhood. The Boston Brochy! Jesus, just walk like a person. Yeah, yeah, the bastard. Okay, I don't think there's anything new to what buy. What can I do for you? I think I bought everything. Any consumables I'm missing? No. Well, let's check the book. Oak. Oak is new. Wool is new. Hickory lumber is new. Bruce. Air meat. Iron ore. Lead. Sand, sails, sails, okay. What can you make? I need to level up my people. Right, I have some homestead missions. Snare pouch, increase capacity of snails, sure. Disinfectant. Flower. I don't know what that is. Nails. I'm just a completionist, I want to see it all full. I don't really need to sell anything else because I have 50,000 pounds. Okay, that's not complete. Okay, so Boston is pretty much done for now. I believe I have homestead missions. Let's start from here. No, let's start from... Because I have some peg leg trinkets that I picked up. Yo, you! Back again? What do you got for me? Blow me or! You've earned the last of these blasted things! Be sure to let me know what you find, eh? <laughs> You're weird and annoying. New destination in naval map. Explore Edinburgh Castle and find Kid's former crew member. The Mad Doctor's Castle. Yeah. Letter to Joseph Palmer. Don't go away now. Jamaica 1776. Oh, 
I'm breaking into a house. <laughs> Just to make sure I can go back. Joseph Palmer retired to Jamaica. Edinburgh Castle, Jamaica. Not to be confused with the rather more famous Edinburgh Castle in Scotland, this Edinburgh Castle is more of a stone manor house. This building was a castle-like appearance, uh, with its two circular towers useful for shooting at enemies, or if you were the owner, random travellers who happened by. Lewis Hutchinson was a doctor from Scotland who bought the land here in 1768. By 1770, he'd earned the nickname the Mad Master and the Mad Doctor. See if you can spot the word that links those two nicknames. Nobody local went near Edinburgh Castle if they could help it, but the main road in the area went right by the manor house, meaning many travelers walked directly into Hutchinson's path. Hutchinson would shoot his victim from one of the towers, take their valuables and have his slaves toss the body into a nearby sinkhole. If someone happened to stop and ask for hospitality, he would invite them in and they would never leave. Hutchinson was arrested in 1773 for murder and subsequently hanged. Nobody knows how many people he'd killed in his five years at the castle, but after his execution, a collection of 43 watches was found inside. So, at least 43, I'd say. Independence Hall, uh, built between 1730s and 1750s to be the Pennsylvania State House. The architecture is Georgian, which was popular at the time and essentially means the building was made to look similar to English manor houses of its day. Georgian, of course, being a reference to King George. Some of the most important documents in the American Revolution came out of this building. The Declaration of Independence was first debated and signed here. The United Constitution was drafted here, and if that wasn't enough, the Liberty Bell rang in the bell tower to summon people to meetings before it cracked beyond repair, of course, and also before it was really known as the Liberty Bell, but we won't let that get in the way of a good story. The building became known as Independence Hall in the 1820s, a result of the Marquis de Lafayette, making a return trip to the United States. Lafayette's visit was meant to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the revolution and to remind the new generation what had happened and where, well, it worked, creating a sense of national history and an obsession with tagging things with the words liberty, independence, freedom, and Washington. Somewhere around this castle, Faulkner said the scroll would likely have ended up in Lord Lewis Hutchinson's private museum. Interesting. This place. place has seen much evil. Yep. Let me guess, I'm going here. Yeah, I can't touch the camera while I'm doing that. Um, is this how it's supposed to be? No. Climbing here. Going here, climbing up, up through here, yeah, oh, I can barely see anything. Okay, now do this, and then do this, and now we're on the second floor. Money, money is always good. Find Hutchinson's museum. Yeah, I have a lot of natural light, not a lot of light inside. Right now. Uh, okay. Hutchinson's personal museum. Kid Scroll must be here somewhere. Oh, mission complete. Um, New Jersey is under our control. <clears throat> New York has plus 15. Let's do Pennsylvania first. Thank you for agreeing to go on the mission. Go. North Carolina fighting the pox. Damn it. Uh, 
I think there's something wrong with my eye. Okay. Money. Broken display case. I have to clues. Blood stain. Did I miss something? Hello, camera, thank you. More money. That is unreachable. And that is also currently unreachable. Okay. What's here? Broken base. What does that tell you, Connor? Shot the must have come from the balcony. Reach the science location under the time limit. What? Care to tell me how I'm supposed to accomplish this incredible feat? What can I climb? The bear? I can climb the bear. Okay. Climb the bell. For some reason, I have to go there, not the other way around. Get on this thing. Oh, switch over to the other thing. Climb. Get up there. Get over there. Now, here and the there. killer must have chased his prey, but through where? That looks weird. Twist it, turn it, something. The mechanism of the mask is broken. But this isn't. Missing rifle. Was it Hutchinson? No way. Follow the trail. Um, first of all, give me my bow. Where is my bow? What happened to my bow?
And well is that box. Where's the box? There should be a box. Not down there. Is it up there? Yeah, well, my bow and all my arrows. Gotcha. I hate it when you take control of the camera. I do not understand how anyone could live here. Small wonder Hutchinson went mad. This place feels mad. Wait, where was the box? Started. This place has seen much evil. Bloodied handprints found in clock. Wait, why am I using that pistol? Give me the double, bar double barrel one. Mm. Oh, blood. Left musket. Picked it up, was shot, bled, ran, shot, vase broken. Ran away, shot again, bled on the floor. Left the musket there, dragged through the wall, of the riddle in the time. What riddle? There must be some clues around that can help me with this. Um. The other clocks might tell me something. Okay, then go away. Other clocks. What other clocks? Was I supposed to be paying attention to something?
get off the sofa. Where is that light coming from? What other clocks? What other clocks? <laughs> I was probably supposed to be paying attention to something. This place has seen much evil. Yeah, you said that. I went through here. No clocks. No clocks here either. Give me back my camera. I don't see any clocks here. The crocodiles. Hang on a minute. There's nothing here. Okay, mission is done. Yeah, the box is up there. How the hell do I get up there? There's gotta be a way. Okay. Okay. That's nice, nice monies. Now I went through here. Went through there, still no clocks. I can 
can barely see anything. Drop. Drop. <laughs> well, here's the box. Aha. Damn. Okay. No clocks here. Wait. No, that's not a clock. There must be some clues around that can help me with this. The other clocks might tell me something. What other clocks? He must have written the answer somewhere. Oh, I can brute force it. There's no reason for him to write it, it's just two variables, single di almost single digit. And I just went through every combination. That's weird, I went through every combination. Five and ten. There must be some clues around that can help me with this.
Hello. Whoa. Nice dungeon you have there. Damn, three cages. A bit overkill. Those are a lot of bones. Close to a tree kissed by fire. What you make of it? They all appear to be parts of the same piece of leather. It lies under the eagle's bed near the wolf's abode, close to a tree kissed by fire and abreast the rock that does not fit, and a route to an island. The symbols remain elusive. That's Oak Island. I've sailed past it half a hundred times. A forgettable isle, to say the least. The location seems to be the easy part. Aye. And we'll be waiting for you the moment you want to get after it. You actually found something? <laughs> Shut the hell up. Let's do it, when, why don't we? Blow Oak Island and cover Captain Kill's treasure. Yes, please. 1777. I'm a little on edge, Captain. The prospect of Captain Kidd's treasure and the mysteries that lie with it have me a trifle spooked. Stay your anxiety. It is likely only treasure. I thought the same it thing, but those. considering what the man went through to hide it, I'm not so sure. All those scrolls lead up. First of all, my weapons. Okay. Using the double barreled be one, switch to my bow. And bring the dagger. Oak Island. Awful out of the way, Captain. What was Kid hiding for cripe's sake? I hmm. do not know. Cripe's sake. But I am intrigued to find out. Remember what was written. Oak Island is in the home bay on the eastern shore of Canada. The island features prominently in local pirate legends. It seems the secret treasure Kid buried here didn't remain as secret as he would have liked, which of course was very secret, hence the word secret. Treasure hunts first began in 1795. A local teenager spotted a tree with rope bound in a nearby depression in the ground, which he thought was a sure sign that something had been lowered into the pit. He and some friends started to dig, but quickly got beyond their depth and resolved to come back with better tools. Subsequent digs have happened in 1803, 1861, 1866, 1893, 1809, and 1831. Over the years, theories about the origin of the money pit have been abundant. It's nothing more than a sinkhole. Treasure was left in the pit, either by William Kidd or the Freemasons or the Templars. Here's my personal favorite. Fra Francis Bacon used the pit to store the original documents proving that he wrote the works of William Shakespeare. I'm almost sorry that one isn't true. Or is it? No, it's not. Lightning posts. Yeah. Posts. Close to a tree kissed by fire, near the wolves' abode, under the eagle's bed and the rock that does not fit. Whatever that means. Do you <laughs> think there might be landmarks? Probably. Probably Possibly. Five minutes to solve the riddle. Got it. 
What does that give me? It was a tree kissed by fire. That is it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this one goes here. Like that? No. It might fit in another place. No shit, there. Sherlock. <laughs> that was the rock that didn't fit. That was a tree kissed by fire. This is the wolf's abode. There. Got it. And the eagle's bed. Of course you have to climb a tree. I don't need eagle vision, I know exactly where it is. different way. Perhaps if I use the trees as reference. I'm trying to use the trees as a reference. In the other direction, maybe. Oh, those trees. Done. Now what do I get? I know where it is. How in the... You've figured it out. Well, that's why you're the captain. Bloody this is a new range of Limit health loss. Don't get that. Come on, you want to give me pills? Give me pills. You okay? Yeah, ma. Waste not, want not. Yama. That's a bloody big piece of stone. Any ideas? Perhaps some gunpowder would move it. A nice big explosion, eh? Might do the job. 
We'll do well to scare away any more blasted wolves, that's for certain. I ought to be enough. That's a big hole. Nerves got you now? Won't know what's in there till you look. Whee! Limestone cavern. Okay. Oh, great. That's not how you do it. Oof, that's a difficult way in. That's all nice crystals. How? What is that? This is what Captain Kidd suffered over for so long. Astonishing. Is that a Templar ring? You there for a moment, Captain. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. What happened down there? What did you find? This thing. That's it. A single gold coin. There was nothing else. Was the cash pilfered already? Ah! What the devil? I do not know how it works, but I now understand why Kid valued it so. Cool. Acquire the Shard of Eden. Captain Kidd's outfit. Let's go to the manor then.